Spur yourself on, Dante. The final circle is near. What city is this that lies ahead? Because you pierce the darkness from afar, you stray in your imagination. When you reach the place below, you will see plainly how the sense is deceived by distance. These are not towers, but giants. Shade, tell me of these giants. One here is called Nimrod, the builder of Babel. For his great flaw, a single language is not shared throughout the world. And the others? The proud Ephialtes, who tried his strength against Jove, and Antaeus, the once invincible son of Mother Earth.
you are worse than I could ever be. I killed Arthur to bring glory back to Britain. No! For betraying the love and trust that nature makes. At the center of the universe, in the seat of the devil himself, every traitor is consumed eternally. What makes this cold wind? Lo, Dis himself, the emperor of the woeful realm. And lo, the place where you must arm yourself with fortitude. Master, will we speak again? Gird yourself for the final encounter. Think not on me. Should you prevail, I will see you on the other side.
Seek eternity for this emancipation!
Wait! There's just one last minor detail with which I ought to make you familiar. Dante. You can't go anywhere. Not a single soul may leave this place. It is forbidden by him. I am so sick of you. I will reclaim my rightful place in paradise. My path will be paved with the sins of man, and yours, Dante, shall be the bedrock of my return. And all that is good shall be gone from the universe forever! Not yet. I have collected many souls on this pilgrimage. Souls that I have freed from this inferno. And together, they now possess the power to free me. Father, mother, brothers, absolve me! This power, Tante, we can use it together. You and I, friend, just think what we could achieve. I would rather not. I can reunite you with Beatrice. Together, we will rule the three kingdoms of the afterlife. It's not going to happen. I did not die, and I did not live. 